Okay, so uh, we're here at the Hornby 2020 uh, new product launch. Uh, I'm here with George, and George is going to talk us through a new bit of kit which has been devised by Hornby. So uh, go for it. Okay, so what we've got over here is we've got two units which is named the HM6000. Yeah. Now, this HM6000 you can apply to two circuits now, which is more so than an A250 controller or any standard analog controller we've done before. Over here we have the 6010 which is our points and accessories controller. Now this is all controlled by Bluetooth. Um, we use mesh technology as well which is the latest stuff basically. Now what I've got at the moment is I've got my class 08 slowly running around the circuit. Now as you can see using the application I can change the speed of the locomotive. I can also change the direction of the locomotive as well. Now if we look over here this terrier, I'll move my terrier out onto the outer oval. That's quite quick. So now we've got that coming around on the outer oval. And if you look here, I will change 1D. Sorry, we'll give it one more round. <laughs> We're doing what I did as I was on the second HM. Okay, 6010 there. There it is. <laughs> right. I do apologise. Got there. No, that's all right. Fat fingers. <laughs> so we've got that moving around the track there now. Now we look over to our class 87. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that out to this area here. Um, and then I'm going to take it back into the other siding. So if I go back to here, we've got the locomotive. So I go to 2C. 2C. Oh, right. Okay. Bring that. Close that. Stop this locomotive. Like that. Swap that over. Now I'm going to swap 2C and open it. Okay. I will also put the lights on red as well so the locomotive can't move. And we go green. And then I can move the locomotive back into the other side and stop it. So, okay, in terms of user interface, just mm -hmm. uh, just walk, give us a quick walkthrough on uh, on Right, so of course at the moment this is currently for development, it's to show the functionality of the actual system. The screens in the future when it comes to launch will obviously be a lot more tailored for the user, you know, to make it as easy as possible. So we've got separate screens um, for the layout control, which is all of our circuits that are moving around at this current time. We've then got a separate page for the points and accessories. But what we plan to do is utilise our track builder system, which means the users can build a track layout that they've got at home. They right. can apply all of the points motors in the correct positions, mm -hmm. or not, you know, it's up to them. And then they'll be able to export this onto the system of the layout control, and they'll be able to have the layout at the, at the top with all of the points and accessories and everything like that and then they'll be able to control their locomotive underneath. Right. So, that, so that, you'll have it all on one page. That, di that, um, cap that library is pre-populated with all of the standard track items absolutely, from the range. Absolutely, absolutely. So we've got all of the, the SKU numbers there. So you've got R601s, which is obviously, you know, standard straights. We've got, um, you know, R600s, which are, you know, the smaller straights. We've got, the, you know, that where your power track's gonna be in there. We've got, um, Obviously, all the points, everything like this. We've got. We're going to have a scroll bar, and it'll be optimised. So it'll be nice and smooth. We've got signals, points, everything there. You can plot them onto your layout. Okay. So this is available on uh, Android as well, isn't it? Yes, it will be. It'll be on iOS and Android. So you'll be able to use it on an iPad, or you'll be able to use it on, you know, an iPhone or anything like that, or an Android tablet or an Android phone. Okay. And free to download. Free to download as well.